let's have a nice, good, fun podcast about violence. I don't have my phone on me, so I can't take any notes. <sighs> Welcome to Was It Good, the podcast that reviews movies, TV shows. Today we're talking Attack on Titan, Season 4, Part 3A? Yeah, maybe. I'm Ravi, joined by... Arjuna. Krishna. And our producer... Michael. Nailed it. Damn. Boom, baby. At least uh, every time we do one of these pods, somebody has to say nailed it, and I took it this time. You know there's a show on Netflix, Netflix called Nailed It. Is it really? Yeah. Is it a game show? It's like a cooking competition show where they bring in like bakers who aren't professionals who are a bit poor and then they give them like a short amount of time to bake stuff just based off of what it looks like. And it, it's always like funny because it, it always looks bad. And Can I bad. ask, why did you like, wh- is there a reason you said they're poor? Like poor as in poor cooks or like financially poor? No, no, poor cooks. Poor oh, bakers. poor. Like they intentionally okay. find people who aren't good at baking. Got it. Got or, it. Or, or whatnot. <laughs> oh, to I kind took of that. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I thought you meant like I took that the wrong way too. They were poor. And I was like, why, why are they highlighting that? It's kind of a weird. Yeah. Weird is it look. still on? It is, yeah. Mm. Oh, interesting. But we're not talking five or six seasons. Yeah. Nailed it or giving suggestions. In fact, the only suggestion that we should be giving is you should not watch Attack on Titan right now. It is depressing. If you're going to watch it, it's up there in terms of like depressing TV content with like The Last of Us. I think this is the most depressing like television show I've ever watched. Attack on Titan? Yeah. Is that because start wow. that right off the bat? Is that because it's it's because of the content of the show or is it because Mappa is just you know, dicking us around <laughs> yes. and not fucking ending the it. The answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. it, is, it is both. I mean, obviously the show, you know, we're talking about this uh, season four, part three, A premiere, and uh, they don't pull any punches, right? You know, like most of the world ends uh, in, the, in this episode, like a bunch of people die. Uh, and it is, uh, it's always been a bleak show, right? It's never been like a really like, positive you know like my hero academia for example another popular Mm. anime on right now is very like cheerful and happy and uh you know there's some darkness to it but it you know overall is a fairly like happy show and this is pretty much the opposite end of it where it's like yeah your favorite characters will probably be dead by the end of this episode or arc or season uh there's even a moment uh in this episode where Another one of our main characters uh, dies. Hanj. Uh, Hanji. Hanji. And uh, they uh, they see all their fallen comrades. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, oh, wow, I forgot about all these characters because they're all so dead. So many dead so characters. Long. Yeah, But that's nice. Isn't that a nice thing, though? Like, they, there's heaven, I guess, or hell, I don't know. It's a good point. <laughs> so they, they live on, yeah. I guess. In yeah, theory, yeah. Sure. That's nice. That, that, that's a little piece of optimism right there. They, yeah. they survive. Yeah. They, there is an afterlife and uh, they get to talk about their war stories. <laughs> that's a ride around on horses, apparently, and, and yeah, well, follow. Yeah, our the, ho- the horses, right? They're part of the, the scouts, <laughs> yeah. right? So the horses yeah. go to. Yeah, horses go to the same heaven. Scout, yeah. is scout heaven, I'm assuming, right? Scout heaven. Which animals yeah. don't make it to, to the scout heaven? Well, dinosaurs, because they never existed. So oh, here we go. Do you oh, think man. horse heaven is. Just human heaven where they still have to carry people and they're <laughs> According to Attack on Titan, yes. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, there were people on the horses, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're using the horses as beasts of burden. What a bleak show. That's the <laughs> that dark. That is the main takeaway from the show is that uh, heaven has horses still acting like horses. Damn. Yeah. There it is. Where's where's PETA? <laughs> but then again, scouts are still acting like scouts too. So it's That's like whatever true. you did in life, it right. seems like you're doing in death. Do you think? Do you think like their hydraulics and their blades like dull in heaven, or do you think they're just <laughs> unlimited? You think they wouldn't need them? <laughs> well, but I mean, they're there. Well, they were, yeah. <laughs> but they, they are there. They yeah, had the true. equipment. There was no building, so yeah. yeah what they, what it, do, oh my god, does it get even darker? Do they like hook onto the horses and kill them again in scout? Jesus heaven? Christ! Are there titans in heaven? Do titans Ooh. go to heaven when they die? Well, we haven't we haven't seen that yet. Well, no, we kind of have, right? So she wakes up in heaven, whatever, and she's in the footprint of a colossal titan. Well, because she's well, so she's there. She she let she's. She wakes up where she died, essentially. Right. But there are footprints everywhere. Yeah. So then Those I are the s- colossal titans that just marched. So she's in the same... She's either in the same location, and now she's a ghost, along with everyone else, 
or they're in a the afterlife is a perfect mirror representation of the physical world. So then it, you're it probably in doesn't a house matter. And it's kind of like explodes. It's kind of like it's kind of like the upside down, it. right? Like it's the it's a mirror image, and like things can affect each other, but they're not the same. connected. Yeah. Scout heaven. Scouts. Scout heaven. Yeah, you need a battle. This well, is our best. So Titans are still there. Our best Boom. theory ever. Well, I'm gonna start with my warm word impression and just steal that. Scouts. <laughs> And and I I say scouts because of everything we just said. <laughs> wow, very. Someone became very how tidy. prepared to this podcast. I mean, we're always prepared for this podcast, <laughs> except you, who doesn't charge his phone. I mean, it's just all up here. It's all off the dome. Oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> oh wow. Um, so you you know all the talking points that we've got listed in our. Allies? I would hope so. You know, I wrote it. That's tr- I mean, in theory, you should be you should be able to memorize it better because yeah you did write it yeah, so exactly anyway christian your one word impression for attack on titan is it season heaven? four part three a. <laughs> no it's gonna be brutal uh pretty much for all the reasons that juno listed uh, <laughs> the bleakness uh the death it's so effective though i mean i watched that episode twice and thoroughly enjoyed it every time um if not more the second time so yeah brutal it's uh it hit it's the animation style was so effective. Um, the it, it just delivered. It was devastating, devastating in every way. Did you tear up at all? No, no, I didn't tear up. No, it it's not a show you wins. can tear up because you expect you expect it. You expect that everyone is a, a dead person walking. So there are no more tears left to give in this show. Damn. <laughs> That's somehow sadder. <laughs> <laughs> Junior, your one word yeah. impression? Uh, my one word impression is time. I thought, I thought the theme of time was very relevant in this episode. And within the whole show itself, right? The, these heroes, uh, there's this time element for everyone, right? There's this time element for the holders of the Titans, as we know that they pass away after a certain amount of years. There's this time element of our... Our last heroic group, the the remnants of the Scouts and the uh, the Marley and Titans coming together, the warriors. the warriors coming together to stop Aaron. Uh, you know, th- there's that time element, and then there's also the the time choice of the very front of the episode. You have you're kind of jumping um, between times with Aaron. You have Aaron the kid mm-hmm. who is crying because he doesn't know why because he's he's jumped into into there after he's done all these horrible things. You mm-hmm. have Aaron. You know, pre you know pre season four, you know between season three and four, I assume at some point when he's uh, in Marley and he he saves the kid that he knows is going to die, um, and then you you obviously jump to to now, um, what is now? You know, which is, which is <laughs> I think always been a an interesting question with the show over the last few seasons as we've known that the the founding Titan power you can kind of jump in this nebulous force of in the past and present and, and future, right? Um, so time, you know, there's, and, and there's the time of uh, us, the, the, the time the that we've invested oh. in the show <laughs> and, and we wait <laughs> and we wonder how much time is left in the show because who knows? Infinite. Right. Well, we know it that will never end. This, this first part of part three is a tw- 12 episode run or 10 episode is run. That, so is that confirmed anywhere? I think that's a guess. That's a guess. Uh, I don't know if they've believe. actually released an actual episode list for the last part here. Uh, I wonder if they're just making it up as they go. They <laughs> well, just draw I mean, every the, week and they're like, okay. Release times were all kind of screwed because we were under the impression that it was releasing Saturday right. on but know, it, it Pacific. Did. It did. Well, it did in Japan. Right. But the website that I use, which was like, it wasn't Crunchyroll, it was like blog site. It was something like that, had listed for Pacific time Saturday morning. Right. So, so that's they were when, when you texted on Friday saying, oh, the episode, I was like, wait, what? That's confusing. And then also it, w- it was not listed that it was going to be a twofer special oh. or whatever. Right. So, yeah, I think to Christian's point, I think they're just making it well, up. Well, Christian had a really interesting theory about Ooh, maybe hear the theory, every episode being this type of length. Oh, oh no. So I was, yeah. So I was wondering if they've divided this last part into two parts. And I wonder if this first part is going to be a bunch of specials. So, like, we got, like, these hour-long dual chapters. So, maybe we're only going to get, like, three more of these. 
Don't say and that. then there'll be a little break, <clears throat> and then we'll go back to the regular format to finish the show, or it'll be another bunch of specials. But I wonder if that's how they're doing it now. Because I will say, I really dug the format of the hour. They really took their time with it, mm-hmm. and obviously we haven't read the manga, so we don't know uh, how much correlates to certain issues, right? Yeah. Um, but I, do, I did, it seems like they were able with this hour long format to go into more detail, to do some creative things narratively, like Arjuna mentioned off the top, uh, you know, off the top of the episode with going back and forth, you know, um, unfortunately we don't know how much of that is directly manga, how much of that is the creative freedom they've taken for the anime. Um, but either way, it was great. Yeah. I, you know, spoiler alert, so we probably should have said that at the top, but spoiler alert for the, if you haven't seen this episode. The episode ends with, you know, the team that we've been following now landing on Aaron, right? So it's like, <laughs> how many more episodes can there actually right. be? Like, you know what I mean? Unless he, like, sometimes, like, unless you introduce, like, real time travel and, like, <laughs> they just start going back in time and, right. and, give them ideas. and, 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 and doing all this, like, w- like doing real, doing the weird stuff, right? Right. That, I like, think that's what takes multiple happen. episodes, which may, if there is 10 episodes, that kind of has to happen, right? Like, you can't have a 10 episode battle. That would be. Well, weird. you can if you're Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I was going to say you Dragon Ball Z. They're going that way. They've done it yeah. multiple oh, times. My yeah. swords must regenerate, so we must talk for a full but, episode. Yeah. But Attack on Titan hasn't followed that same pacing. So I, I know I know I was confused when I first watched it. I know Arjuna was after he watched it. Like w- this feels like we're entering the climax, and we still have like a, like Ravi said, anywhere from like ten to fifteen more episodes, maybe. So yeah, it's real confusing right now how they're pacing this thing. And obviously we don't know the end. So we don't there must be one more twist, one more turn, one more like do they beat Aaron and then Aaron figures out a way to counterattack? Does Aaron win? And we're forced to watch a post apocalyptic world for ten episodes. Well you know uh, what's you know what's interesting though is like this episode had a lot of the main group that we're following talking about what happens after they defeat Aaron and how uh, Eldians will still be treated like crap. So I do wonder, you know, are they going to, quote, defeat Aaron? And is there going to be a piece where we actually see what happens to this world after Mm. the fact? Because a lot of the time, like, in traditional storytelling in general, you have your big climactic fight thing, whatever, and then the story's done, and there is no what happens next. You have a little bit of falling action. Sometimes, sometimes, but like, in, in, if you were to look at this through the traditional lens, you would imagine there's a big battle, they defeat Eren, everyone have, everyone's happy at the end. I'm wondering if, yeah, maybe majority of what is going to be in this last part is what happens to the world after the rumbling. Where are people now? And like, going back to... I think you said it, Christian, about Armin. Armin is telling a story. Are we then going to come up and get your uh, come to Armin's present time and see what has happened to the world and, and where things? Because remember, anime does time jumps like that all the time. Sure, like big yeah. time jumps. But most where, of these characters will be dead in a few years, most likely, because yeah. of the top. Well, be, even if they survive this, the Titan powers couldn't they change that technically? Because the founding Titan can fundamentally change genetics and i mean yeah he could but is aaron gonna do that <laughs> maybe if i don't know him. i don't yeah. know i mean we still don't know like i mean a big part of the episode uh, yeah. was playing with the idea of like what why has aaron not taken away our, our titan powers right. does he actually want us to stop and then aaron just kind of jumps in their brains and is like yeah, no. it's like no i want you to beat me <laughs> if you can right <laughs> it's weird it's a weird power play I also yeah. think Aaron is an ego. He's an egomaniac, right? Like, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. But he, they did. He is, they did play, and they did this last season with, uh, or it was at two seasons ago because it was season four, part one. Uh, the Reiner Aaron conversation, um, you know, where they talk about this is our duty. This is what we have to do. Right? <laughs> duty. And Aaron talks about that, where it's like this has all happened, right? right? I don't have a choice in this and even armin ends with i think the episode ends with the question right he's like are you free are you free and like maybe he isn't maybe he is kind of like because he has these powers and it's like seeing the timeline he's like i have to just go through these motions or whatever and maybe he's clear yeah 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 it's clear he's clear not for you right because that beginning the whole beginning of that episode 
served up this like while he's walking around in Marley, he's like, I'm gonna kill all these people, and he's like, at some point, I, he, there's a line where he's like, at some point, I guess we don't figure out a way to save to save Eldia. So even though he ba- totally bashed um, uh, Armin and Mikasa, right, being like, you guys aren't free, you guys are totally influenced by your blood or by Bertolt's memories or whatever. Uh, he clearly, he's like the least free person in this whole show, it seems like, which is interesting. It's like, why then did he, what was the point of that conversation if he was just straight up lying to them? To drive them away? To drive them away and, yeah, ensure that they go after him, right? I Maybe. mean, if it's a, I mean, because if, if he's already seen the past, present, future, and it's just a big old loop, then yeah, I think we talked about this last time we talked to Attack on Titan, where it's like, is he saying these things, doing these things, because he has to push them away and push them to the limit, and they have to truly believe that he is so far gone, that they, they have to, of their own free will, kill Aaron or, or, or stop Aaron or whatever. Like, I'm wondering, is that what is happening here? Yeah. Um, here's the bigger question, I think, you know, and I like to, I like to ask this question after we watch a very big, impactful episode where Aaron Yeager is a dick. Are you guys still team Aaron? Are you no. team Armin and Mikasa? Are you team Marley? I'm team end of this world. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, are so you team, team Aaron. Aaron? No. You're team Aaron then. <laughs> well, Aaron's trying to end it. But I mean, I mean, Aaron sucks, right? I sure. Mean, that's, that's, that's no surprise to anyone here but like right. is he also you know we talk we have this conversation about free will is he because he is this asshole because he <laughs> is like i am det- you know he is the very the very classic japanese anime trope of i am going to dedicate my entire life to this one goal and this one thing right of the titans killed my family and i'm going to like kill them and do whatever it takes to do it right and that's right. becoming the titans and becoming the monster and that's been the, that's been his theme since episode one right like he'll do whatever it takes and like there is nothing that is beneath him to do right he is there's no moral line that he won't cross he's crossed all of them mm, and then yeah. lapped it again <laughs> so <laughs> and then lapped it yeah. 15 times but I, I am interested but but i think we talked about this in the previous seasons of like this these seasons, we haven't gotten a lot of Aaron's perspective uh, in season four. In part one, two, three A, most likely three B, three C, three C A, one dash eight four, whatever, right? And so I do think maybe that at some point, maybe the reason there is twelve episodes uh, is we are going to maybe go back and catch up and understand a little bit more. Like we've gotten some glimpses, like we did at the beginning of this episode, but maybe we're going to get more of. Why did Aaron do all of this? Yeah, because we said this before, too. Seasons one, two, and three is very much, like, through the eyes of Aaron. Like, we hear his internal thoughts. And then at the start of this fourth season, those internal thoughts were turned off. Yep. And we're just now seeing what he's doing through the eyes of all these other characters. Right, very intentionally. Right. right? Which I think is super intentional because it also makes their deaths a hell of a lot worse. Because you're now seeing and hearing their stories and, and, you know, everything regarding their horrors and dealing with if dealing with whatnot. Um because like there's also the conversation on the on the on the air pl- airship, right, where they're all talking, all the scouts are talking about how they're basically murderers and they're the same as like the warriors. Like they went to go kill people in the name of other people and yeah. It's just one more wrong to another wrong doesn't make a right or whatever right. that term is. I butchered, butchered, butchered that really bad. There's, there's, there are no heroes in war, right? right. They're right. like everyone's a murderer at the end of the day. You know, you can you can try and paint it as much as you want, but like that's the truth, and it's a good commentary. You know, like the the show is a good commentary on 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 war in particular, and how there there are all these horrors that mm. go around, you know, along with it, and there's no peace really that comes. from from it until you get to scout heaven until you get to scout heaven with the horses <laughs> with the horsies <laughs> it's like that it reminds me of um was it little sebastian up in horsey heaven 
Bye. Do you guys think Chris bye, Pratt uh, Sebastian. is going to do a voice for the English dub of uh, Attack on Titan? Oh, when they yes. 100% whenever someone, <laughs> some producer, probably in like five, ten years, will be like, I found this amazing show, Attack on Titan. We should make a live action <laughs> version. Who should play Aaron Yeager? Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. <laughs> oh, my Timothy God. Timothy Chalamet. No. Uh, Tom Holland. All the actors of Hollywood. Oh, dot, God. dot, dot, dot. Timothy Chalamet should play. Uh, um, Armin? No, no he Levi. Play, he should play Jean. Jean? Oh yeah, I could see that. Who would you? Who would you have play? I uh, like Jean. What don't, American don't that. actor <laughs> would you have play Levi? It has to be someone really short. That's like his defining feature. Tom okay, Cruise? everyone. Every, yeah. <laughs> Boom! Daniel that would be great. Radcliffe. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> yeah, I think Daniel no, Radcliffe he's, could do it. I don't think uh, Daniel you have to Radcliffe wait for him to each up a little bit, but. I would have uh, you got someone who's believable as like a badass. Yeah, so Tom Cruise would work because he also do, does Cruise, all yeah. his own stunts, and he I can f- play a teenager. <laughs> so he, hear me out. Hear me out. And I'm dead serious when I say this. Idris Elba. Uh, he would be who? as Levi. Yeah, sure, he's short. We have to change that factor, and that's fine. But like Idris Elba is like the definition of a badass. True. And I think that would be super sick to see like this big ass dude. Yelling at, you know, other uh, co-workers. It could work. Actually, yeah. Idris Elba would be a better Irwin than Levi. Ooh, yeah. yeah Cancel, you know, when I, you know that, I always remember that line from... Uh, Cancel the Apocalypse from... Yeah, uh, say we're canceling the Apocalypse. That's so Irwin right there. That's very true. Okay, uh, yeah, that works better then. So who yeah. play? So if you if you cast Idris Elba as Irwin, then who is your Levi? You need someone that could go well with him, Right. And then it's also pivotal. maybe maybe Charlie Hunnam. Let's just just, just get <laughs> Let's just Pacific, Pacific like, Rim. Just, but boom. Charlie, but yeah, Charlie Hunnam's not enough of like Levi has to be the ultimate badass, right? Right, and like Charlie Hunnam is good, but I don't know if he's like the he's not ultimate, the ultimate badass. Wait, no, but because it is acting. <laughs> that is true. Like, it's true. They just have to act like badass. So how about we just because he's he's on a roll right now? Just throw Pedro Pascal in. <laughs> yeah, Pe- Pedro Pascal could do it. I I think, yeah. No like, doubt. He has that, that smugness of the Mandalorian in terms of, like, I am a badass. And then... Yeah. And, I mean, the only thing... And we also Pedro know he can do Deadpan. Pedro Pascal, though, would have to figure out how Levi has a mask on. So that... He <laughs> Pedro should just do all hey, the Well, Titans. technically, his face is heavily covered up by the end. Oh, this is very true. You know, like, yeah. he is he is horribly disfigured at this point. Very... It's somehow still alive. He only <laughs> needs two fingers, he said. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was so funny. That part was, was like, like actually kind of sad, like them yeah. just trying to watch him. Like they're you know the once most revered probably scout ever, yeah. just reduced to literally two fingers. Do you guys think he's gonna get his wish and kill the Beast Titan? Yeah, I think he'll yeah, di- I, I think, think they'll so. die together. That's beautiful. I don't I don't I don't see how <laughs> Levi somehow survives. I kind of want him to survive. Like I, I'm honestly, I think that would be sadder though. Like he's a warrior, so like if he survives in peacetime, I like, know. I know. That's just yeah. That's even worse. more depressing. Right. He lost every single one of his comrades. Right. He lost all They're his friends. All Most his body is mutilated. Yeah. <laughs> he somehow survived. Damn, he really is the last one though of his like entire generation of scouts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I mean, I don't think a single I mean, one. I mean, L, another one survived. Mo- Most of the Eldian military was turned into Titans. Titans, and then the rest, the ones that betrayed them, were crushed. Yeah. And destroyed. And, and yeah, um, there's no military for them back home. Yeah. At all. Basically. Yeah, Eldia is done. I mean, everyone, I mean, the entire planet everyone's at done. that point, like, economic collapse all around, so. This is like, do you guys remember Age of Empires? hmm So you remember, you know, sometimes you could have a strategy where you would draw the army out, and then you could just send a really small battalion and just destroy the, like, town center and village while, mm-hmm. like, the two armies did? Maybe, like, that's what Marley should do right now. Just well, I don't have, like, a small <laughs> battalion and just, like, you know. Well, the last of their airships are gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're, they're their military was wiped. Their sea military was wiped out in the last part. In part B. S- part 2 or whatever. 2 B. <laughs> two B I yes. I don't know what it's called anymore. Two so. You guys are no longer with Aaron. Do you think the creator is still with Aaron as no. far as the creator of the manga? Yeah, do you think no. that he considers Aaron to be... A redeemable person. Not the redeemable, but in the right. Hmm. That's a good no. question. I, I'll be curious to see if... I'm sure... I'm, I'm I get I get strong feelings that that's a, that's a no. That's a no from you, Doc? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely... Yeah, because um, he seemed... The way that they've presented all these other characters is far more sympathetic to those characters. Yeah. The way that they've given them time and... The way that it's portrayed, it's like those these guys are clearly in the right, and Aaron, and even and and I think this last episode did the best job of 
painting Aaron in a poor, a really bad light. Mm. Remember the flashbacks when he's a kid? Um, it shows him totally as an egomaniac. He's like, the world isn't what I wanted it to be. He right. wanted nature, and it wasn't that. And he's like, it, it, it's, it, that angers me. That bores me. Like, he's totally being painted right now in a, in a really bad light. He's a villain. Yeah. But what makes unless it compelling? So unless the, the creator himself is also an egomaniac, which is very possible. But but what uh, makes yeah what makes it compelling is he's a he's a compelling villain. Like he yeah. you know a bad villain is just like he's cartoon. Dan- he's is, Thanos. Is cartoon. Yeah, they truly yeah. believe in what they're doing, right? And that there's a compelling argument to be made, which is why we're having the conversation of do you believe in Aaron, right? Because <laughs> there probably are people who are like yeah, like yeah, burn yeah. it all down, like get rid of all the shit and start anew. You know, aren't all like creators of art egomaniacs? In some way, I suppose. Because, like, you, you have the idea <laughs> of, like, creating a whole world, and then you're Your pushing world. it You're pushing it on other people. You inflict it on the world. Yeah. That's kind of ego. If not Aaron, yeah. then who do you think is his protagonist? The viewer. Kassar, <laughs> Armin, uh, Reiner. Everyone, everyone trying to stop him. Maybe, maybe the that, flight team. The horsey in Scout Heaven. Heaven. Yes. <laughs> the real hero of Attack on Titan. <laughs> that one horse. Uh, actually, let's uh, speak of heroes. Let's talk about Flock. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, yeah, God, I, you can ask Christian when I watch that. I'm like that fuck is still alive. Yeah. Flock is the most annoying Fucking character Flock. next to Armin. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's not even close. Flock by far is way more annoying. At least Armin is like decent this season. You know, like he's right. not he's not as annoying. He's like really grown up, right? Flock is just regressed in every possible way. I mean, regressed. He was always a. A little, a little bitch. But even, <laughs> even from that point, he from went the from the first time you see him. <laughs> he went from like negative five to like negative five million. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That's, that, that is that is a hundred percent correct. I mean, he definitely had the craziest. I think he's had the craziest arc where he was this very scared scout, not wanting to die, to this I'm a true believer and I'm gonna take over a whole country while I'm at it. It is quite. It is quite the arc because if you remember. He's the lone survivor of Erwin's charge against the Beast Titan. Yep. And, uh, and he saves Erwin, right? Uh, and that's when they have the whole decision to save either Armin or Erwin. And Flock at that point is like, Aaron, you're a dumbass. Yeah. You've got to save Erwin, not Armin. So it is quite the, intri- like quite the switch where he went from like, Aaron, you're a dumbass to I'm a Jaegerist and Aaron's going to save us all. Uh, yeah. so. He's a believer. He's a believer. How's that song go? And now I'm a believer or something? And I saw her then face. I saw na, 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 yeah. Na, 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 so that's what Flock was saying. I'm a believer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you saw his face. It's true. Yeah, so he has pictures. Smash like Mouth? In his like a yeah. dorm or whatever. He has pictures of Aaron everywhere. And Smash Mouth. And Smash Mouth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please, can somebody make that clip? <laughs> God. <laughs> go ahead, Ravi. You're the editor. No, you're you're a better editor. You should that's how that lies. False. <laughs> Um, another interesting thing that happened in the show is so Flock obviously damages the plane and then all these engineers are helping put the plane back together and then the plane is up in the sky and then you look who's on the plane. It's just our main heroes and no engineers. <laughs> Did they leave the engineers to so die? What to the That's engineers. what I want to know. So I, I, I think they we have a few them. theories because Arjuna was actually very upset by this. I think for... About an hour after the episode ended, he kept coming back to, but what about the engineers? Are they alive? <laughs> and so we settled on two, one of two, two, there's only two ways they could have gone. They stayed behind and got trampled by the Colossal Titans, or they're on a different part of the ship. They're in the underbelly. There's a, a compartment in the back. You they're, know, they're not the, good enough to plane. be with everybody else. They're like, we're just hanging in the so back. So the boat theory, Correct. unfortunately, you there's have, no way they could have made it. There's that, but also there's a shot where um, what is the the like prime minister of the islands called? Oh right, you know she. There's a shot of her shoveling fucking shit into the, into the, the, the steam. There's not a lot of people on that. That boat. is an engineer's job. Like she wouldn't be doing that. That's a good point. So like, there's not a lot of people on the boat. But, so here, I, but here's yeah. another thing, right? If they stay behind, they show the shot of Flock in the hangar, but he's the only one there. Right. So, 
I mean, they could have obviously left and like tried to run or something, but then Which they were going to trample. They got trampled and died. Right. It's just a weird omission. Like, what about the engineers? Like, this I is just true. wanted like they forgot justice. to draw them. <laughs> justice for the engineers. Like, at least show them in scout heaven, right? <laughs> They're not there either. They're not scouts, Juno. They can't go to scout. Damn heaven. it! The horses were engineer heaven. scouts, yeah, either. Engineer which heaven. is actually hell. <laughs> so, are Juno like they have? They have to build their own heaven. <laughs> So is that going to be like a qualifier for you for like the rest of the Where season? Where are the engineers? You need to know what happened to the engineers. I want to just know if I missed it. Like if anyone on if did. anyone online knows. No, like, don't ask that leave question. A, leave because a comment. They may, might be the mom and something might be spoiled for. Well, yeah. <laughs> the engineers are actually the true hero. So the entire attack on What Titan. if Armin is telling the story to the engineers? Like <laughs> this is all the, the prologues and the recaps. It's him just talking. If he found the engineers. He's like, okay, and this is what happened. <laughs> no, this is what's going to happen, right? Like Aaron's about to kill, you know, Armin and all of them. And then the engineers come out of nowhere and they like build something and it kills Aaron and it reverses. Versus everything and everyone lives and they all lived happily. Ever They're after. the true heroes because of the the two to three engine. I don't even know how many, many engineers. It looks there like there's like four or five of them. Yeah. Wait, you're so you don't even know how? Do you not you know, know why? Because they didn't do enough establishing <laughs> shots and enough background <laughs> info on the engineers. You there know were what? I want a no full characters. I want a full spinoff on the engineers. <laughs> oh, if they have no names, they're dead. I want. I want. I want seven seasons. 30 episodes each, like 210 episodes on the engineers, like really detailed, like just the minutia of their lives. Like a whole episode could just be them like making lunch. You know what I mean? I'd watch it. What color were their shirts? Were they red? Gray. Oh, they're like grayish. As basic as you can be. Nondescript. <laughs> well, as long Very as they were red. Yeah. <laughs> like there were shots too where they didn't have like faces because they were behind them, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So like, yeah, I think to, to Larry's point, they just weren't drawn in. <laughs> they, they're gone. I think they they're hundred percent god. I want, I need to know. So the the start of the uh, the next episode for for this part, it's just them getting crushed. This is how just they, like no. This is how they get ten episodes. I was gonna say, you remember there's ten episodes. There's sure. a whole like three episode arc of the engineers. They like you actually see them. They like climb some like secret mountain and they avoid the colossal titans. And then they're just like, what do we do now, guys? Everything's well, destroyed is, around us. It's Attack on Titan. They die somehow. Damn it! A giant bird comes and eats them. Damn. No. Well, speaking of birds, so... I teed you up right there. Right. That was great. So, well, actually, before we get into to Annie's whole uh, I'm running away and then the... What's the little kid called? Falco. Falco. And Gabby. Thing, and Gabby. Um, Armin and Annie are in love. Yep. You can tell no because they there. did the typical anime thing where they're, they're the blushing. Blush, the blush. <laughs> the over the top blush. We knew that was coming for a long time, though. Yeah, I mean that was because like we, we knew we knew Berthold. Right, we knew you, Berthold so had you, feelings. Wait, do and you then got, once Armin ate him, I, I was gonna say, do you think Armin had feelings for Annie pre Berthold? Uh, you guys would know. You've rewatched the show more recently than I have. Or they, th- did the so, feelings become because it's from Berthold inside of him? Annie and Armin mm-hmm. have already always had like a very subtle thing i don't know if it's full-on attraction but when annie is first a tight when you first time you see annie as a titan she has two chances to kill armin and doesn't uh and then when uh aaron armin and mikasa confront annie in sohest um to capture her the female titan uh Armin, I mean, Annie does this like weird, like blush, you know, that anime blushing, like, you know, is this, you know, she says something like a weird line to Armin, you know, as if to imply attraction right before she transforms and then tries to kill them. Uh, so there's always been like a very, you know, and then obviously I think once Armin eats Berthold, Berthold I think it does become pretty. Right, because he has Berthold's memories now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he's, he's taller. Yeah. All that stuff. Right, because he's taking on more of the characteristics of his Titan form. This is also true. Which he's only used a total of once that we've seen on screen. We've seen I it think once. he's been practicing. He's, yeah. they, I think that's like a line from the, where they've been practicing. Yeah. Like, he's yeah, but he's a nuclear titan. bomb, isn't he? Like when he transforms? Yeah, he's a colossal Titan. And when he goes, it explodes. And even makes a reference. He's like, oh, I killed a bunch, bunch of, children. of children. Yeah. And which he did. Like, he's a, he's a murderer. Well, the that's Armin? Pretty, yeah. 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 The hero? The hero. Yeah. yeah. The, again, there's, there are no there heroes. There are no heroes in war. Only survivors. We have protagonists. We don't have any heroes. What about the engineers? <laughs> the engineers the are the real heroes. They, no, they were making weapons of mass destruction as well. That's They're true, just actually. just as guilty. Yeah. 
Like we're learning that movie Oppenheimer by the great idiot Christopher Nolan. Great idiot. <laughs> what a qualifier right there. The great idiot Christopher <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> Wonderful filmmaker and idiot Christopher <laughs> Nolan. Pizza connoisseur. Christopher ter- ter- Nolan. Ter- 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 human being that doesn't care about your safety. Uh, so, yeah, so Annie is on the boat. I'm and, on a boat. <laughs> and um, Falco and Gabby realize. So, Falco, help me out here because I was a little confused with this scene. So, Falco obviously had some of. He had Zeke's spinal, Zeke's fluid. spinal fluid. fluid. So, therefore, it. he's taking on memories of Zeke. Yes. And his Titan, the little Titan, the jaw Titan, t- has the ability to adapt. Is that what they were saying? So therefore, he thinks he can fly. Uh, pretty, pretty much. So he's gonna make. And wings. his name is Falco. Yes. And the first, the first scene you ever see him in, at the first episode of season four, uh, he's on the ground in the middle of a battlefield, looking at f- birds flying above him. Yeah. So. Oh. so I think, I think essentially, he's gonna turn into a bird, and they're gonna fly into battle. So yeah. they'll be the ace in the hole when everything Probably. looks like it's doomed and. Evil Aaron's that's, about to get his way. That's what it seems. <laughs> so Evil then, Aaron. so he'll come flying in, and then Annie will turn into the female Titan. Yep. And then Aaron will kill her, and then that will set off Armin, who will then go and become the Colossal Titan, and he'll do it to like explode Aaron from the inside out. Well, he, well, here's my question. Right? I just told you the whole show. You're well, welcome. Well, so we were really close in season four to getting like shots with all the Titans, mm-hmm. like. We have to get that in this final battle, right? Like, they're yeah. all going to be... What? No, nope. we're not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, nope. Nope. I have a question. No Titans. Annie turns into the female Titan. Is mm-hmm. there just... There's a Beast Titan, the Jaw Titan, the uh, Cart- Armored Titan, Titan Cart- and the female Titan? Yep. They, call, yep. they, they call it the female Titan. Titan. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there is a... The naming like, conventions are... If he the, the cart titan is is has a female uh, user as right. well. Yep. Yeah. But I guess this is the only titan that is. I mean, they don't has have a female form. They don't have organ like the titan forms don't have like genitals. Genitals, right? right. Like there's yeah. no Any there's no them. giant dicks just swinging. Around. Well, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. If this was Zack Schneider's Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> blue little penises everywhere. Zack, uh, Zack, they're, they're not blue. I want to use the blue <laughs> penis. So technically, I don't think we could get a shot with all the Titans because Aaron has three of them. Yeah, so, so how are you going to do? You know, you, wouldn't, you, you won't have the Founding and the War Titan Warhammer, the yeah. Warhammer Titan separate yeah. since he's got them. Yeah, That's he's so. like, he is... But um, we, we'll, we'll have all the powers... In, yeah, so there you go. In one shot, but not all the Titans. Well, that stinks. Yeah. I think Aaron's going to be done with the show and, and will take all the powers. I don't think they make a lens wide enough to see all the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> there are nine. The right lens? <laughs> there are nine. So they're doing like a behind the scenes with Mafa, and they're like, yeah, we have to like recreate lenses. It's like, wait a second. This wait, what? Drawn, what the fuck? <laughs> this <is> cartoon. We <laughs> created a new virtual <laughs> camera. We created this new camera for what? Oh, just for fun. <laughs> just for t- just to get all the. Is this why we have control. eight parts of the final season? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we were making lenses for some reason, <laughs> and then we drew it and we used the lens, and then we're like, decided not to use that shot. <laughs> oh my god! It's like you're talking to like I don't know head of whatever, and mopping he leans and he's like, "This shit is all real." <laughs> we send film crews in. We send them into the cartoon world to get footage. <laughs> the cartoon world. Cartoons. All right, let's let's get into our favorite part here, qualifiers. What what needs oh. to happen uh, mm. in order for you to, at the end of this season, or this part, I don't know how we're going to quantify it, um, what needs to happen for you to say, yes, this whole thing was good and worth it? Can I go first? Uh, one thing, though, one rule. You can't say it all has to come out and no more parts. That can't be a No, qualifier. that's not my qualifier. Okay, good. Mine's pretty simple. Uh, and I don't think this is going to happen, but I want to have this caveat because I feel like this does happen in shows. I don't want them to undo what they've done. I don't want them to undo. I don't want them to, like, reverse the world ending and all of these people dying, right? I don't want there to... I'm not saying it can't be, like, a happy ending because 
it would be weird if it just was like, and everyone's dead. The end. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's going to be some type of resolution in way forward. Sure. But I do think, like, the brutality of this show, and I, I don't think this is going to happen, which, which is why it's not a strong, like, controversial qualifier, but I do think to stick the landing, like, they can't, they can't undo Aaron's actions, essentially, right? Like, half the world, three quarters of the world, however many people are dead, need to stay dead, and this destruction kind of needs to stay the way it is. And it goes from there. So if they if the show like ended where they use the founding titans power to kind of go back in time and stop the action of what <laughs> happened from ever happening, you would punch the TV? I wouldn't punch the TV, but I'd be disappointed for sure. Uh, oh, let me ask you this. Emotional damage? <laughs> what if what if Aaron wakes up and it was all a dream? So they didn't undo it. But they just showed that everything didn't really happen. Didn't a show do I that? I would be Dallas. There, there was a, yeah, Dallas. Dallas, right? Did a whole season yeah. where it was a dream? Yeah. Yeah. Because it was so poorly received pretty, or something? Pretty upset. Yeah. I think, or, or better yet, what if <laughs> <laughs> some like animator wakes up from a drawing table? Yes. <laughs> Go real meta. <laughs> and it's like, oh. well, I'm sorry. What the fuck? And that's just how what it is. What if it's like Star Trek Enterprise and it's someone like watching a simulation? Oh, like, oh, when um, Riker had to make a decision. Yep. The d- big decision. And he was playing out Archer's whole thing in the hollow deck. Considered one of the worst finales of all, of all television. The, that wow. one? Yeah. I didn't know it was the worst. It's, consi- considered, it's considered it. I thought Game of Thrones was the worst. Game of Thrones is also considered a bad one. Don't people hate the Sopranos one a lot, too? Oh, yeah, because it just ends... It's the abrupt cut to black. Oh. I mean, this could do that. A lot of people hate <laughs> like, it. Lost. It could be Aaron's holding Armin in his arms, and then he just puts his hand over his face, like take his last breath, and then it cuts to black. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Cover him with a pillow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, either way. Qualify? Either way, yeah. I, I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, Christian, your qualifier? Um. I think in a similar vein to Arjuna, my qualifier is uh, Aaron has to die. Well, that's he, dark. He can't live. That yeah, was also no, but, Krishna's bold prediction. <laughs> no, no that's not bold. Yeah. No, but he, he has to. But that's the thing, though. Because I also see a scenario where he doesn't, and that would make perfect sense. Uh like I always go back to that first episode where he's waking up. He's like, "I had the longest dream of my life." And we got that like, that a similar again. scene again in this episode. Yeah, so I thought I thought they're it definitely up. playing with like consciousness and point of view and stuff. So I could also see a scenario where the show ends and he's like waking up and like, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not taking that path. <laughs> you know, and I don't know if I would hate it. it depends on what happens before that. So, um, Ravi, if you've got one, go. I'm going to think a little harder on this. Okay, well, mine's very, very simple. Levi has to live. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. I, like, Levi can't die. I think I've grown way too attached, and it will hurt me. So therefore... But we've already established it's worse for him to live. I, I don't care about what he wants. <laughs> it's what I fucking want as the viewer. <laughs> this isn't like, oh, what does this character fundamentally need? Fuck that. Okay, well, to go real dark here. Yeah. What if he lives, but, like, he gets even more damaged in this battle mm-hmm. and is, like, a vegetable? That's, that's, I mean, that's dark, yes. Would you consider that living? Well, I mean, that goes into a deeper conversation that we don't have time for today. <laughs> so I guess we'll have to find out if it does happen. I mean, I, but then also, it's like, I think he has to, yeah, he's got to be the one, I think, that survives in the end. I think it makes sense for all other characters to just perish. I think... Mikasa's will be terrible. Um, like I could, I could also see like Mikasa being the one that survives, and then I think so. Like she's, but then the she'll most put skilled. herself away in isolation, and she'll yeah. just kind of cut herself off from the world or whatever the world is at that point. Um, I think, I think the only one who makes sense who who has to live is Armin. I think Armin. everyone else can actually die uh, in terms of like the story they're telling. Mm. Because if you want to, if you want an optimistic ending. Armin's the only character who's been optimistic for the whole show, who's still alive. Uh, he's the only one who's like started the journey with like, I want to see the sea. I want to, you know, explore the world. Eren 
quickly transformed into I want to kill everyone. <laughs> and Mikasa is I want to protect this killer, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so, and also Armin's been narrating this whole thing. So it would be weird if you just killed him. Also, they just made in the head of the scouts. And can the scouts really have another leadership change? I mean, the scouts is all of what, <laughs> seven people now? They're all on the Aaron's back right now. <laughs> yep. Aaron's back. <laughs> oh, Aaron, Aaron's carrying the team? Yeah, Aaron's <laughs> literally <laughs> carrying the team. <laughs> carrying the team. Armin, for some reason, dies and makes Aaron the head of the scouts, and that's how the show ends. Well, it could be like... And, Aaron, and then beauty. Aaron feels remorse. He's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a good leader. <laughs> and then he stops. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, what if Armin is uh, narrating from heaven? That's true. Yeah, yeah scout from scout heaven. heaven. With, he's, uh, telling the, he's telling the other dead Little scouts Sebastian. what's happened. Little sure. Sebastian. Do you, did you come up with a better qualifier? Or I, gonna... I don't. I, I honestly, I don't have one because I don't. I don't have a good grasp on how the show is going or how it's going to end. Gotcha. So I can't have a qualifier because I. I just don't. And I'm okay. And that's good. That's a good thing. I think I'm okay not knowing because it's exciting. So I don't have any qualifiers. I not. I have to see how the show pans out. You should, crazy. Done, you should have done one like it could know, go. Anything could happen, that, and that I think opener, I'd be okay with it. The opening theme song has to be a banger. Oh, real quick. We don't know what the opening theme song They've is. They've done this before, Bill. There's been I some... don't like this. You all, I mean, to be fair, though, every opener, you're like, I don't like this. And then I four know. episodes in, you're like, I love this. This is this a is banger. The yeah. greatest uh, music that the show Thousand has ever percent produced. that's going to happen again. If there isn't even an opener. If there what is if, one, What yeah. if everything is like these special parts and there's just nothing? Well, then I'm these going like to... like mini-movies. I would then, they, then it would make sense because they, their budget clearly went into making these mini-movies and they didn't have the money to hire a band or whatever to make a theme song. So what I guess it's just, a good trade-off. What if they just reuse Rumbling? I'd be okay with that. It's a good one. Their music video is also really good. It's creepy with the Rumbling. Yeah. Uh, let's look at our bold predictions from the past. This is, this and is revisit the, them. These are the last ones we made at the end of uh, season four, part two. So we'll start with Krishna. <clears throat> Mikasa is going to have a hard time killing Aaron's Aaron, and in a jealous rage over a lover, Mikasa will kill. These are very poorly written. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I think Krishna's whole thing was Mikasa Maybe will have a hard time killing Aaron, but will be able to do it over a if, lover. If I remember correctly. I right. think there was we had a theory about Historia mm-hmm. and yeah. her pregnancy, and so I think there was something about Aaron was the father would find and Mikasa would find this out and have a jealous, jealous rage. Gotcha. And that's well, that's what leads her, her to kill her. <laughs> I love that prediction. Kill him. I mean, it still it still could happen. We're not sure, done yeah, yet, sure. so it's still a big maybe. Um, I said mostly flashbacks for this part three. Um, Aaron knocks up Historia and through the jealous rage, but the baby seeks revenge and the cycle restarts. <laughs> There's also going to be a movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. The baby is Aaron. I could be. Why not? Oh my god. He's yeah. his own father. Oh god. Oh, I was his own father. His father. No. It is a sci fi show. Doing what Back to the well, Future could Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, and then Arjuna, you had said flashbacks from Aaron's perspective. To be fair, we did start this episode with sure. a flashback from his perspective. Yeah. So you are you are right to start. Yeah. And so I did. I reiterated that in today's pod that I, that's what I want. You want more flashbacks? Yeah, maybe like some flashback heavy episodes. Seems like we're all into flashbacks. Flashback. Flashback. Well, yeah, we're prepping for uh, the Flash movie. We have to say flashbacks. Flash. Flash. Michael Keaton's movie. We'll just call it that. Good old Michael Keaton. He is old. And Ben Affleck. Is Ben Affleck in the Flashpoint Paradise? Yeah, he's, he's in, in the, the trailer. trailer. Is he? Yeah. Oh or at least the new one, I think. <laughs> yeah. And I like that trailer, too. <laughs> Do you anyway, know? let's look at bull predictions for season four, part three A. What are yes. your what is your boldest? Of this is the not the final part. You can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say. I mean, you can Bold. say ca- certain characters are going to die, but do you want me to start? I mean, I figured I, you I had one ready to yeah. go. Um, my bold prediction for this part of the season is that we are going to go full weird and get time travel. Ooh, they like. Uh, unless the show ends in two weeks, mm-hmm. there's, there's, I, I don't see another way, and especially with all the teases of time, and again, 
reiterating that again at the beginning of this episode. I think there's going to be something with, like, it might not be full, like, sci-fi time travel. We're going through and we're changing events. But I think we're going to get some, like, passage through time with multiple characters. Hmm. I like that. Christian, do you have a bold prediction? Yeah, I'm going to pull out an oldie. Uh, I think we're going to discover we're on, we're not on Earth. We're on a moon called Titan. And this is the origin story of Earthlings. I think I said that one for season three. That feels like a very Battlestar Galactica ending. Yeah, it does. Because it's Attack on Titan. Right. So I I keep coming back to that as well. Like Uh, the name. The name of the movie. The name what is it? The name of the song is I Killed Darnell. What if the show was actually <laughs> supposed to be Darnell. called Attack on Titans? But it was just, you know. It wasn't communicated correctly. And, <laughs> and then they printed it wrong. Yeah. That could be. Is that real? I don't know. It's just a theory. No. That's a good bold prediction. I think my bold prediction is gonna be a little crazy because it is bold. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. And I think it's going to come out <clears throat> that the show takes place on a planet called Titan. <laughs> you just no, get out. You just copy. I'm no. typing this as fast as I can. <laughs> I can't erase it and not. This is why the old bold predictions don't make sense. <laughs> yep. No, no. So my bold prediction truly is going to, to end up being, I think it's, we, we're, the, to fill this last part, we are going to get retellings of big events from different perspectives. From the engineers. Or maybe the engineers. Make it bold. Perspective. Come on, go, go all the way. Engineers. Maybe the engineers, sure. But I also think that we're also, we're getting like remember in part B there was or part two there was the episode explaining the founding Titan and how the whole world, how the Titans came to be and that whole explanation. I think we're gonna get more of those those types of things. And that will we fill everything. Forgot to mention one crit, maybe a very important thing, and it was like a half second shot. Remember the two brothers in the beginning, Ramzil and Halil, mm-hmm. Ramsey and Halil. Um, when one of them is getting squished, his head squished by a colossal <laughs> titan's foot. The last image he sees is of the f- the the founder Ymir. Mm, yeah, and he is not Eldian. So there's an implication there. What does that mean? He's not Eldian, and the last thing he sees before he dies is the founder Ymir. There's an implication there. I don't know what it is. Or we can go wild with speculation, but that oh, that, that is what we, we saw that. It's we, super we simple. Saw that. She's a sicko and likes to see children's heads pop. No, I think I think it's that it's that there is no distinction between truly between Eldians and Marlians. Like they're mm, all the same. We, uh, we, a conversation we've had it's so made up. well before, right? It's yeah. There is no like anybody could be a titan. Yeah, and that and that they've been just taking people they don't like. Saying you have Eldian blood and using that, and so when that might that might, you know, if that ever is discovered that that's what happened, uh, what would that do to the world? I mean, right. it would change Aaron's perspective, right? Aaron would already know this. I saw so true. Yeah, you would think. Um, so, yeah, there's. It was like it was really really well done because it was like half a second, but that shot sort of changes everything. We're sure he's not Eldian. Kid? You're right. He might be part Eldian. Yeah. You never know. That's yeah. also true, yeah. That's a but good also point. in the great beyond when Aaron's talking to the team, not he, Scout Heaven. Not Scout Heaven. He's a, a little kid with his eyes kind of blacked out mm-hmm. standing next to the founding titan. Yeah. Which also you makes mean, Ymir, yeah. Yeah, Mir, which makes me think he's taking the mantle, foot truly taking it over essentially. Potentially. And like Ymir can finally rest, I guess. And she can go to Scout Heaven with little Sebastian. <laughs> what if Aaron is Ymir? What if Aaron's little Sebastian? That would make more sense. Played by Chris Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt starring in everything you love. <clears throat> I can't wait for the Mario movie. Anyway, <laughs> it's I, mean, great. I think it might be good. You think so? Maybe. Yeah. I'm trying to be optimistic. I mean, Jack Black is doing a great work with the PR and showing up in Bowser onesies everywhere, Amazing, which is incredible. Which is great. I think it'll be great. Yeah, I hope so. All right, let's ask the big question, Juno. You haven't started us off in a while, so uh, Christian, you go first. <laughs> Ravi <laughs> was 
Attack on season. Attack on season. <laughs> Attack on final season. Attack on Titan final season part three episode one. Good. Chapter one and two. Chapter one and chapter two. Yes, Come. it was good. It was a fun time. Where would you put it in the all, Where would you put it in the all time Attack on Titan rank? Oh, top five. Top three. Not top three. Top five for sure. I think it's probably one of the strongest season openers too, or part opener, whatever the fuck we're calling it. One of the better openers that we've had in in a while. Yeah. I also came to a weird realization that this show has been running for close to 10 years now. The first season came out in like 2011. I thought it was 13. Or maybe 2013. Yeah. It so, was I was in college when the a first decade of Attack yeah. on because, Titan. But because the first the between the first and second season was something like 5 years. Oh wow. 4 years. Something like that. Yeah, 2013 is yeah. when it premiered. Um, there was a big gap because there were funding issues. We were all in our 20s. You were still... You I might was have, in college. Yeah, so you were like 19? Uh, Gino was a baby. You were in your 10s. I was 20. I was probably 20 or 21. I want to say you was two 19. years old. You're basically 12. You're 12 years old. And thank you for your time. <laughs> or Juno was attack on seasoning. <laughs> an attack on uh, seasoning <laughs> that feels like a weird political ad that may end up happening so anyway attack <laughs> on titan season four part three a was it good it was good uh it was a really amazing hour and as usual at the end of every attack on titan episode when it ended i was like come on <laughs> come on show me more That's more right damn it great cliffhangers always uh but yeah it was really good it was it was good was a good time. Uh, Krishna, was Attack on Seasoning, <laughs> Attack on Titan, Season 4, Part 3. You got this. Chapters 1 and 2. Good. Hell yeah. They were brilliant. Uh, but I, I think for me, it was a top three episode. <gasps> you said top Maybe. Three. Whoa. And I don't think it's three. <laughs> so, <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Wait, what's considered your best episode then? Uh, I still like the campfire episode in part two of the final season um, when they're going around sort of just destroying each other. Be like, you did this. You did this. Uh, That was really well done. Uh, What happened to Yelena, by the way? Did she die? No, she's on the boat still. She's on the She is on the boat. She's on the boat. Yeah. Okay. I forget if we saw her. Your favorite Um, character. it was, uh, yeah, fantastic. Can't wait for more. Just like Juno. I'm like, it's hard to, when you binge the whole show and then you have to go back to this week to week format. But I, I will say I will be, won't be mad if they keep these hour long episodes because it makes waiting a week worth it. Would you be mad if they started doing micro episodes though, where it's just five minutes? <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Chris is like, I quit the show. <laughs> I mean, I would quit the show, actually. I would like, just wait I would at just, that point. I'd be like, this is stupid. Ten more one-minute episodes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, just a frame per week. You know, like, <laughs> Mappa's like, they, I wonder if, like, some exec has sat down somewhere and, like, we've had these fuckers on, on the line for ten years. How do we get ten more years out of this shit? Oh, man. Just do the spinoff. <laughs> it's the show that <laughs> never ends. Isn't there Mappa's a Mappa's got to be wanting the show to end so bad. They have so much on their plate. They Isn't, keep yeah. taking on animes. Isn't there a manga spinoff of Attack on Titan when they're all, like, in high school? There's a show. Yeah. It's a show? Yeah, Attack on Titan High School. That's awesome. And they're, like, little... They're and Aaron, Aaron's whole thing is, like, becoming a Titan, I think, to stop the bully or something of that nature yeah. like it's very kid ver it's it's weird it's hard to watch because it's like not good it's not it's not good it's just it's too comedy and it doesn't work when you know what's really <laughs> happening right so yeah yeah i mean i only got through the first like 10 minutes and i was like i can't watch this not my cup of tea so you drink tea uh no coffee usually so well then not my cup of coffee mm. yeah that makes way more sense yeah Anyway, that's going to do it for us here on Was It Good, the pod that reviews movies and TV shows. You can find us on the internet, on Twitter at Was It Good, on TikTok and Instagram at Was It Good Pod. Full episode of the podcast are on YouTube.com slash Was It Good. Definitely check out our website, Was It Good.info. We will have a new pod later this week. On Saturday. On Saturday. On 65. 65, the new Adam Driver movie um, about d- dinosaurs. So. Woo-hoo. I'm really excited to hear your opinion on that movie. Oh. 
Don't you worry, an opinion will be given. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.